can you configure this smart battery protect from v Victron for the battery other than just 12 or 24 volts? For example, for protection of this one, Makita 18 volts, that is when charged gives us 20.4 20 volts. Why do we need to protect it? I don't know why you, but in my use case, I am going to use this battery as the reserve power in this uh, harness as the reserve power for some of my switching equipment with uh, double uh, power in um, inputs like for switches or PoE injectors for example so I'm going to use it this way and I want to protect it to cut off at let's say 15 volts yeah before the BMC in eternal BMC will trigger protection uh, which I consider is not good for that battery so I want to disconnect the load earlier and why was this shunt because I just have it so, yeah so you don't need that big 65 amps of course but why not especially if you can get a good price and you like uh, the way how it's done so can you configure this for uh, let's say 15 shutdown and uh, 20 or uh, something close to 20 for clearing the alarm and connecting the load again yes you can and you see i've done it it, it is a little bit tricky but i will show you uh, that's from my previous experiment i will show you this now and i will um, do a small uh, demo for you so the battery voltage you can select only 12 or 24 and actually when you connect it first time it will attempt to detect the battery and configure it by itself and uh, uh, what it will configure with uh, 20 volts battery it will decide that you have 24 volts battery which that is discharged and immediately will give you an alarm yeah but that's not what we want here it doesn't actually matter probably it does but 24 is okay so that's where we do the user defined mode you cannot find anything suitable here but you can do a user defined and you set shutdown and uh, restart as you wish however you can access this menu only when you select the proper modes here for example you may attempt to select lithium mode that I first did because this is lithium battery, but it is designed for some other Victron or other standard 12 or 24 batteries. As long as you select it, you cannot change anything here. Probably it's a kind of protection, I don't know, so that you don't make any mistakes. Uh, so uh, I actually the the user manual that comes with the unit is pretty useless nothing there and I didn't want I'm a lazy guy I didn't want to search about a B mode uh, somewhere in the better user manual that is probably available on their website I just know I understand that if I select relay mode it's probably when um, uh, the, the output will act as the relay yeah so it will cut on off uh, cut off or switch on the load in our case the load will be voltmeter the boozer mode i think it will just uh, be beeping and flashing with the LED so i select the relay mode and it works for me again when you select relay mode there you can operation select lithium and again you don't have access to this settings then so the only what works uh, for me is that one and alarm output i think it doesn't matter what you set here alarm output we have here so and that's it that is our configuration now how it works yeah so this is my power supply plus minus plus we provide to the input yeah it's pretty obvious and then we uh, take uh, our load in, in that case voltmeter from from the out and we combine negative lines minuses yeah so it's pretty everywhere it works the same so minus from the power supply from the load which is voltmeter and uh, minus to power this device battery 
smart battery protect so we are okay the lower is connected and what we do now we are going below 15 and i have pretty of time to make a demo for you you will understand why so i just show you i said 11 and one volts and you can see our load is not disconnected no any alarms okay now we get the alarm yeah and the voltage warning the load is still not disconnected we have p3 something i don't know again the user manual is useless but if you are not lazy like me you can find pdf on their website and read what it means and guys i continue talking to you so that you can see the real time when the lot will be finally disconnected so there is some delay i don't know probably it is it has something to do with the current because obviously here we don't have almost any current and the device is designed for up to 65 amps so probably with the higher current if you understand electronics you understand why it will detect uh, um, the issue early and will disconnect the load but actually probably not because it's already detected with some delay so i don't know because again i was lazy to read a better user manual that is available somewhere uh, I lost the point. I think I wanted to say that I don't know why they designed that big delay. No, come on, come on. Yeah, okay, thank you. So now you see the load is disconnected. You can check the time of the video timing and understand when this happened. And we are going now in the opposite direction. We said, uh, okay, again, 20 of for uh, it doesn't matter we can set 25 and you can see the load is not connected immediately but it will first clear the alarm soon and actually in the same time it will connect the load so let me probably uh, show you it here it will it should happen quite soon now so we have uh, yeah okay clear it and you can see the load is connected so that's it guys i demonstrated you that you can use it for the different voltages battery non-standard batteries like this i hope you like it so remember to like and subscribe to see more that kind of stuff and i have pretty enough that stuff on my channel bye